Hi guys, welcome back to my XPS guide. Now I'm gonna review Yun. So like you know that he is a chainer and I think he's pretty decent because he has many chaining abilities but now let's talk about his stats first. So the most recent dual wielder is Tifa so let's compare Yun with Tifa and of course Sora because Sora is really really good and if you take a look on his attack stats then it is quite decent 204 attack with 60 to 150 percent attack boost so yeah it is relevant on this day but remember you need to equip certain piece of equipment to reach 150 percent and if you count the boost from his trash master then he gets 180 percent if you equip him with fist weapon which is good but that's not all okay because yun has 50 percent beast killer and if you make him into seven stars then he has 100% beast killer and 50% plant killer if you combine Yun with three stars Ifrit then oh he will deal insane damage against beasts okay and for survivability Yun is quite decent okay 70% health boost which is higher than Tifa and Sora but remember Yun has already got his awakening so it is possible in the future Tifa and Sora will be better than Yun same for defense and spirit but even after awakening Yun defense and spirit are still lower than Tifa and Sora luckily Yun has 20% physical evasion but that's not special because Tifa also learned 20% physical evasion and Sora learns 30% physical evasion and yeah the only advantage Yun has over Tifa is he has fatal damage protection while Tifa doesn't have that but Sora also has fatal damage protection so yeah not that special for Yun when compared to Sora also Yun has pseudo dual wield while Tifa and Sora has have full fledged dual wield okay so Yun only able to dual wield dagger whip mace and fist but that's not problem because those are the best weapon for Yun okay and on 7 stars, if you equip his trust master, he also gets 50% through dual wield. So you really need to equip that trust master. And one thing that I like about Yun is his ailments resist. Okay, he has six ailments resist, so he only vulnerable against poison and silence. Silence is irrelevant to Yun because he is not a mage. So yeah, only poison, but I think poison is not that dangerous. It is important not to get poison, but poison is the least dangerous in my opinion, okay? Don't get me wrong. And he also has 50% decrease in counter rate. So combined with Diablos on your party, he is really good, especially on the uh, event, exploration event. He, he, he recovers health and MP, but that's not that useful okay for mp regen he recovers eight percent mp per turn which is above average he also has nice health regen so very good okay so enough about stats now let's take a look on his abilities so put it short yun has three training ability which make him really good the first one blazing combo plus two it is chainable with King's Glaive, so if you use Nyx frequently on your party, then Yun is a good partner for Nyx. It deals 8 times damage with 50% fire in peril. So far, nothing so special about the damage, okay? It deals 16 times damage per turn because Yun has dual wield. Not special, but again, it is higher than Hyo Tripper Seven of the Blade. So, like you can see here, Hyo is getting power creep next muta brush this is chainable with octa slash and you can upgrade the damage by using it two times or use unleash fury and surging flames after upgrade it once you're gonna deal 12 times damage so that means 24 times damage per turn 
which is quite good and this is good because if you have Zerkabat then you just got a chaining partner for Zerkabat okay Zerkabat is really good buffer and he also able to attack the enemy so yeah having a character that able to Zerkabat really save a slot on your party and finally the last chaining move he gets is perfect strikes this is next gen Defiro Nation family okay absolute mirror of equity it is same like T5's final heaven which is a stacking ability it deals 20 I mean 14 times damage and the maximum so that mean 28 times per turn T5 final heaven deal 13.5 which means 27 times damage per turn so yeah they are about on par and for cooldown ability the first one is unleash fury so this will increase your attack by 200% for three turns whoa very nice okay but the biggest upgrade is the increased physical damage again beast and plant like you have known that he is very good against beast and plant for beast he gets innate 100% beast killer if you equip him with ifrit then he has 225% beast killer oh very very insane and if that's still not enough you can use this on the battle he gonna deal insane damage okay very good character next surging flames this is really really useful if you use fire element and because this also available on the first turn and the imperial effects last for three turns so that means you only have one turn you don't imperil the enemy okay so you you only need to wait one turn after that you can imperil the, en the enemy immediately also this also buff your attack by 200% so far very good cooldown ability and for his LB I think you should level up this one because it breaks 74% of enemy defense but yeah if you lack of king burst pot and already have other breaker like Auron then no need to level up this one okay and this also restore 50% of your MP and dual wielder doesn't use that much MP so with this you won't have any MP problem okay so very good character enough about abilities now let's talk about his equipment for equipment you want to equip him with fist weapon because his thrust measure give you 30 percent attack when you equip fist and you can easily find three strong fist weapon i got you an arm okay very good 145 attack and for the secondary weapon i suggest you to equip whip Okay, you can get Hammer Sweep, which adds another 50% Beast Killer. Or yeah, you can also equip Flame Whip from Noon Key. Flame Whip is Fire Elemental weapon, so it synergizes well with Yun Element. And because we also have Whip Mastery to increase his attack. Okay, so very good and easy to find equipment my conclusion for Yun so like I have mentioned Yun is really good chainer because he has three chaining family abilities he also has nice defensive passive okay fatal damage protection six ailments resist so you don't need to worry if you borrow Yun from your friend because he won't be confused and able to go through battle without any hassle for trust master reward it is also good for fist user so if you are a fan of fist user, if you love uh, Krish, then feel free to pull for Yun for his trust master. But Yun is better than Krish in my opinion. For super trust master reward, it is also very good for dual wielder. Okay, it gives you 30% to dual wield. But the weapon choice are kind of in common okay but for you himself it is very good because you can get 80% attack boost so very nice okay so what I don't like about Yun is 
Actually, this is not his weakness, but it is just he is just too bland, okay? So, nothing special or extraordinary. Very 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 bland like Tifa, but he means on fire element. If you compare him with Tifa, then I think Yun is better than Tifa, of course, because Yun deal Yun can deal 28 times damage with his perfect strikes and Yun also has 3 chaining while Tifa only able to chain with Divine Ruination. But for Tifa, you can easily maintain 100% water in peril through her LB, unlike Yun who rely on his cooldown. But compared to Sora, Sora is superior because Sora has ability to chain with 4 chaining family. Also remember that Sora and Bandage Cloud are kind of future proof because they will get upgrade on the future. I mean buff, okay, not ability awakening. Also, yeah, the only downside may be Sora able to deal 27 to 28 times damage, but he need to do a setup so he can triple cast, which make him more MP hungry than Yun. So overall, Yun is really good character, but. Maybe you will forget him soon. But yeah, really, for veteran players, this is this uh, like kind of reward, okay? Because Yun is really old character. I remember that when he was out first time, mm, we use him for the normal attack, okay? Because he can attack twice. Really, really interesting character. At that time, Barrage was still the king of ability okay but now so many things have changed but they still respect you okay so thanks to gumi for that okay so yep i think that's all you need to know about yun thank you very much for watching please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel for more final fantasy perhaps vs god bye bye guys